make a one or two yard run turn into a 80 yard touchdown run. You know, he's, he's very special with the ball in his hands. Boonville is the epitome of small town America. You know, there's not a lot in town to do, but there's only one thing to do on Friday nights, and that's come watch the Bearcats. Growing up in a town like this, how important was it to you on Friday nights? And do you remember the first time you came to a Boonville football game? I don't think I remember the very first time, but I was definitely out there every Friday night, you know. I always looked up to those guys. Just as a kid, that was the highlight of my week. Every week is just waiting on Friday to get here so I could head to the football game. Did you think of them as superheroes when you were a younger yeah, kid? Superstars. Yeah. When, when you see little kids now in this town come up to you, I mean, do you remember back to your days? And yeah, thinking, that's, man, those that's guys all are I awesome. think of. Just like I wonder how they how they view me because I knew how I viewed those guys whenever I was younger. You're used to hearing Ray over the PA system here in Boonville. Right. Uh, you mentioned his older brother. You said you know his dad, who holds the all-time rushing record in Boonville, which he's got a chance to break right. if things go right. right for you guys. Yeah. I mean, what does that family mean? And that, it almost is like that's the epitome of small-town high school football. Yeah, I mean, that that, that family means uh, everything to, to our this community. Um, when you think about Boonville Bearcat football, you know, you think about the Ray family and you think about everything that they've done for this program and, and will continue to do. You got a chance at 4,000 yards rushing in your career. Is that a number that you thought of before coming into this season? People tell me about the possible possibilities of me like getting the record and everything, but it's never been like a personal thought of mine. I never really paid much attention to it. Uh, his dad, Gator, has he gotten in your ears like, hey, how about not as many carries tonight? I, <laughs> no, I want to keep that record. No, no, I think he wants to see him break it, I hope. But yeah, he, uh, Gator's a good dude. He, he does a lot for our program still today. He, he just had another kid, but unfortunately he's a girl. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but he, he's, he does a lot for us and I'm grateful for him. You know, my dad is big time football. He's, he's coached me and my brothers through uh, like Pee Wee growing up and everything. So he's always got feedback on the game, like things that we did well, things that we need to improve on, you know. It's kind of like a second coach when I get home, you know. I'm always like hearing his part of the game, what he saw about it, so. You know, not many kids can say, hey, I ran for 1,000 yards three different times in high school. Even fewer can say, hey, I got 4,000. Even less can say, hey, I got a, a, a school record rushing yards. But what does state championship as a senior mean to you? That's everything for me. Seventh grade, we, in our off-season workouts, we were told to, to make goals for ourselves. And that was one I wrote down on a piece of paper, was uh, state championship football. And you know, I've been working for it every year and haven't got there yet. Hopefully this is a year. He's an unbelievable leader. He's always doing what we ask him to do, plus some. Uh, he lives in the weight room, you know, does everything you need to, he needs to do in the, in the classroom, takes care of business. And um, he's just a special, special person. And you know, we're just trying to really enjoy our <laughs> short amount of time we have left with him. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a sad day in Boomer when he goes, but, you know, it's it's been great having the opportunity to coach him for sure. Yeah.